so you see that right there? That is a nest from what is known as a bull-faced hornet. So I could tell you a little story about the bull-faced hornet. And my, my little experience with them. So when I was a kid, I seen one of these nests up in the top part of the house where the eave is. And it was quite big. It was about the size of a soccer ball. And I didn't really see too much activity going on around it. So for some reason, I thought maybe it would be a good idea to throw a rock at it. And so I chucked the rock up, at, up in the direction of it. I didn't hit it, but it hit the house somewhere near, near the nest. And within about two or three seconds of doing that, I got stung in the back of the head. And not only did I get stung, they were, they were starting to pour out of the top of this thing. I, I, I got stung before they actually came out. So I got stung within two seconds of doing that. So the, the sting to the bull-faced hornet, if I was to give it some kind of an analogy or something to it, the sting from it probably probably would be equivalent to like taking a pellet gun and putting a BB in it and then shooting it if like in my case it was the back of my head uh, shooting it at the back of my head at like maybe two feet away and sink that BB right into your skull you know not into the bone of the skull but definitely underneath the skin I would say it was probably equivalent to something like that so if you see these nests, I would not attempt to try to remove it or, or anything to do with it. I would call an exterminator if you actually want to get rid of it because the sting from one of these things is absolutely unbelievable and these bullface hornets are very stealthy. So what I would do is I would just leave it to the professionals. Don't even attempt to try to remove that nest now that's a little tiny little nest by the end of the year that thing will probably be double in size i've seen these things as big as soccer balls so definitely be real careful when you see them i got one in my attic in my garage that i'm afraid to actually go up in there and, and film it for you because one wrong move if they smell your, your carbon dioxide or your breath that's a good reason for them to come out and start stinging you i did manage to film one of these so you'll see I'll show you a couple images of one flying around inside my you know in my greenhouse I'll show you a couple images of that and uh, give you a little bit better close-up of this thing but just wanted to bring awareness to the fact that this is not your standard hornet or bee these things are very very aggressive in general they won't bother you if you don't bother them but this particular variety of hornet if it decides to want to come out of that nest and sting you, it will. Even me being a little close to it right here is, is risky business. So just keep that in mind. If you see these things, my recommendation to you is stay away from it or have it removed. All right? Just wanted to share that little bit of information about the bull-faced hornet. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.